Yo, what is up everyone? It's Patrick Games 25 here today and today we're playing you and me and her a love story episode 13 and we're doing uh, another route and this one is a uh, Miyuki route 1.1 I've done like a previous one route one so let's get started Yeah, so let's go and get started because I just start like the last episode I just did like a previous route of route one which was her route and now this is route 1.1 that I'm doing right now so right now I'm going to skip and get to like the good parts all for you. But if you want to like watch like all the previous, then you guys can like check, like you know you guys can like check my previous episodes. So right here we're going to check the call history for something. This probably could be something that I've already done, but yeah. All right, so right here we're going to get Zappy. I'm going to skip again. Here that she found us. This probably could be like long. Man, already one minute? That's fast. This recording is fast. So yeah, we're just gonna like skip like a bunch of stuff and then get to like the next parts, like the next scenes. There's gonna be some scenes that's already in my previous episodes that I went through. So, you know, like uh wait, what's it called? The be friends and stuff? It gives me Yuki and all. So yeah, we're going to probably just skip through that stuff. But the only time it's going to be something new is only like if the titles are like all black. Like if it's all black, then it's something new. But if it's green, I've already went through it. And you can check my previous videos about that. I've already said like, I just said like two or three times now. <laughs> and also, if you're like new to the channel and you're like seeing like all my videos all over every time, like you know, on your home feed and you enjoy it, you might as well subscribe to the channel, you know guys. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Don't just watch the videos, but you know. All right, so right now for this one, we're going to go to be friends. Just be friends. I never there was a skip again because I already went through that in my previous episode. So this shouldn't really take like this shouldn't be like a long episode, and plus I'm doing this like later today, like somewhere at 5:13 p.m. today. Because I was busy with stuff and I had to do things and I had to like put things up for sale on this website called, actually it's an app called Macari because I'm just selling things, getting rid of unnecessary things and things that I do not want anymore because I don't really use that again and, and it's old and all that stuff, you know, you know, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm just selling stuff on Macari. You guys can check out my store. It's called Jeremiah's Attic. I don't know why I called it that, but that's what it's called. <laughs> so yeah. So right now, it's just skipping through like a lot of stuff. We're trying to get to like, the good parts. But to be honest, I have a feeling that if, if I already went through this stuff, then I mean, there's some stuff that's similar to Miyuki's route because the previous episode they like route one, and this one is route one point one. So there should be like something different, I'm guessing. Because I mean, between the two, they look they're different. And stuff so yeah so right now it's, it's three minutes in this video so pretty much yeah so I hope to do like another giveaways later on on the channel so there's gonna be like another giveaway too as well but I don't know what is it it's gonna be either Nintendo PlayStation you know all that it's gonna be real guys don't just be like it's fake I mean that's what haters will say <laughs> cuz haters gonna hate <laughs> but yeah that's what it is another giveaway is gonna be coming soon and plus Xbox gold membership has been discontinued like the 12 month is gone and now it's gonna be all free and then by the looks of it I have a feeling that every Xbox member like 360 one Remember, they have a feeling that they wasted all that money after all these years. They're like, like, why? Why now? And look, Nintendo, they were doing, they have all for free, but now you gotta pay for all that Switch. I'm trying to get that money to just pay for like another year, $20 a year for Switch, <laughs> you know. Ah, yes, here it is. A new one, all right. Apparently, it's one of the kind of handmade item. It's express, it's expression is twisted slightly. Right, now we skipped. That was just only for something different. Something new one. That's just only it. All right. For for this one, we're going to do, we're going to give it to Miyuki. 
because this is Route 1.1 that I'm doing right now. And yes, I've already been through this already, so you can check out my previous episodes. And here's something new. Here's a new one. Okay, good. Hmm. Ha! I guess I don't have a choice. Don't do I? Does she actually want me to buy her something? Or is she just saying that to get a Yui off the case? I'm not excited to find out. Alright. Yuki thrust the parcel into Aoi's hands. Think of it as a present for both of us. Yeah. It's a present, you know, it's all for you. Yes. Aoi quietly accepts the gifts. Good. Well, that's the new part. Alright, now it's all green, so I can skip it now. Alright, so we just give it to me, you keep it then. Now, we're gonna be like changing it up now. So, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be, this is gonna be long. It's gonna be pretty long, like this, like the, the text and stuff. But luckily, this video is not gonna be a long episode because it's gonna be like a short one, I hope. Just hope it's a short one, instead of it being long and stuff. So yeah, if you guys want to check out what I'm selling, you guys can check it out down below. Actually, I might put the link in the description, or you guys can just find it like that. Jeremiah's Attic, that's what it's called. I'm selling like a keyboard, mouse, graphics card, school supplies, light fixture, and, and a ceiling fan. But there might be more items coming in too. So yeah. Yuki falls solid too. For a moment, neither of us say a word. Got any idea where she could be? This is new. Okay, this is... This is new. Guess we'll have to search out this everywhere. In, in that case, we can meet up at my house. And so Miki and I split up to search the dark city. Where could she possibly bring a small animal this late night? I can think of anything. The station square, the shopping district, the park, the roads lead to the school, the corner store, various food restaurants. With no clothes to go on, we search and search and search. An hour passed. At some point during the hunt for Yui, the rain lets up. Ah, about time. Did you did you find her? I find Miyuki waiting for me outside my house. I can tell from the look on her face that she has given up entirely. Damn. What? Damn. Well, this is a new one right here, guys. Now, after this... You know what? There's many reasons to this. So... Yeah, and this one right here is for route 1. Point. This is route 1.1. 1. 1. So we should just simply give up and all that stuff, but. This is kind of odd. <laughs> you know, this is so odd because I'm trying to do route 1.1 1. 1 today, but guess what? Give up, don't give up. But for route 1.1, 1. 1, it doesn't even say any of that. Wow, that's odd. That's weird. That's pretty weird. So now we're just going to have to skip Route 1.1 1 .1 and go to Route 2. So we're not going to do 1.1, 1 .1, so we're just going to skip that. So let's do not give up. Let's not give up. Don't give up. This is the area we're talking about. There's no chance in hell she went home to her parents' house. That's what she'll say. Damn. Alright, for the second one, don't give up. This is route two, route 2 right now. 
So we're going to have to bore 1.1 for today. I feel like there's got to be some clue though. It's just a feeling I have in my guts. There's got to be something, right? Nah, it's no use. I can feel it right on the tip of my tongue too. Okay, think we're good. I love for clues. Hmm, the school pedestrian gate. The pedestrian gate in front of the school. Before I know it, I'm running at full speed. I passed by the school gates earlier on my way to the check the cardboard box. Normally it'd be a tiny, forgettable detail. But right now I'm strangely confident. I remember it being open. It's closed. Am I misremembering? No, I, I can't be. Miyuki catches up to me, completely out of breath. What? Damn. No clue. I can't pretend I don't see the logic here, but... I look up at the tall gate tower above us, sneaking out to school grounds at night. Even I'm not confident enough for that. Sorry for overreacting. We quietly turned away from the gates. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah, right, see you tomorrow. I had us on the house. Phew, and yeah. What a long day. In the end, I still have no idea where Yui is or what she's doing. And in fact, I don't even have concrete proof that she left the market cafe to rescue the cat. All I can do is ask her tomorrow when I see her at school. I call the bandit quietly close my eyes. Wow, that's pretty much the... Whew, man, man, this feels pretty hard of a thing, but yeah. Ah, oh, morning. What the hell? What else, buddy? You don't look so too good. Yutaro almost never lets stuff get to him like this, which means the situation with his brother must be pretty serious. I've been thinking, maybe what's with your brother? Needs a girlfriend? He might be a little unstable right now, but if he had a proper romantic outlet in his life, he'd probably chill out. Doesn't it? <laughs> no answers. You're the captain of the boys at Drift Club, aren't you? You surely can help him find a dream or two. So I've heard. But your brother's a model, right? So he's gotta be looking good. Surely he can find someone to date without too much trouble. Really? Oh, for real? Maybe. Miki steps into the room, and the whole class lives though. As Yuki walks, she quickly draws a crowd. She scans the room, and Gage stops on the Yuki's empty desk. She shows me a question, a questioning look, but I don't have an answer for her. Yeah, me either. This is bad. That was the last time I saw Yuki before she disappeared. Damn. Damn it. That 
could wait. Yuki was in low spirits for a long time after that. But for me, I have to believe there was more to her disappearance than that. There has to be some other reason. Something we don't understand. But even without Aoi around, my relationship with Yuki stayed strong. I tried to ask my homework teacher about Yuri, but all he would tell me was, We haven't heard anything from her. No one knows anything about her friends tweet either. Apparently no one else had any idea she was staying at the man cafe in the first place. So yeah, seriously, she was staying at the man cafe. Ever since then, I've been gone to the center of the universe exactly once. <gasps> I thought maybe if I called her from up there, my phone might reach her. I know it was a game of brain. I was just basically just hoping for a miracle. Seriously. But no matter how many times I tried, the call never went through. All I got were out of service and error messages. But that's just how it goes, right? Someone new comes into your life, and the next thing you know it, they're gone. Another person comes, another person goes. Over and over and over. Yeah. So whatever, where she's gone, nothing changed. If anything, things have just gone back to normal. The yeah, is not in my life anymore. That's all there is to it. I'm sure I'll get used to it soon. I'll get used to it soon. I'll get used to it. And it goes further, further, and further on. Whew. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's something. What the hell? What am I looking at here? As soon as he throws his stuff in the closet, he walks over and stuffs a piece of paper in my desk. A club resonation form? Wait, there's something written above it? A lot of expulsion? Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> Look at his reactions. I mean, I didn't want to join in the first place. Yeah, I fooled everybody. Jarga keeps screaming to all he likes, but I. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about, about the comment. He glares at me with an intensity about 50% more rushes than usual. Yutaru? Nani? What? What? Oh, come on, man. Please. Cutting ties? The blue force pierced my heart. Come on, that's not funny. Yikes! That ain't good. The memory of that fateful day flashes through my mind. If you can't throw the cut ties of Yoki back then, we'd st st still be friends today. But it's all over now. Yoki disappeared without protest. And now our friendship is over. Oof, that's pretty bad. It's all in the past now. He draws screams in my face, but doesn't reach me. There is no God in my world, no divine signal. My only choice is to get used to my new life without her. My only choice is to keep on living. She vanished off her own volition. I know that, okay? I know that. I'm constantly looking for an excuse to not do anything. There's ways I feel there's ways I avoid feeling pathetic. Uh, that way I, I avoid getting hurt. This is just kind of the kind of guy I am. So I just have to get used to it. Yutaro just moves his hand over me like a trash. Yikes. I stumble backwards and catch myself on the desk. He shows me the letter of exposure at me. <laughs> Sheesh. What Muko taught me? Did you really teach me anything? Oh no, John boy. Oh hey, Haru Chan.
Hey, dude. And so the boots turns out, and most likely, and most of the likely places, according to Harvest Time, only on that night she'd been looking here as a cash register. Cash register. And then, when Yoey turned up, the kitten and toad, the kitten was starving, and Yoey wanted to feed him. That was how their friendship started. And even after Yoey stopped coming to school, Harvest Chan encountered her a handful of times. That's why? Was she trying to make a call? <sighs> of course. Of course she doesn't even have a SIM card. Huh? What's a SIM card? If he doesn't know what a SIM card is, that come to think of it, I never did check inside her phone. She never did send me a, a single email. Haha, <laughs> same here. Pirate has found shyly. She seems like she's more comfortable around me now. Her smile is so cute. I can't even help but stare. If she's in the theater club, but does that mean she'll share the stage with Yuki at some point? Sure, you've been a huge help, so I'm happy to return the favor. Nani? What? Don't tell me, you want me to, to kiss you? <laughs> I see. Let's just take a deep breath and calm down, shall we? Shine comes into to a fault this one. Oh sorry, one sec. I pull up my phone and check my inbox. There is a new email from Miyuki? Are you busy later? I need to talk to you. Please come by the batting cages tonight. It's important. Yeah, important. The moon is gorgeous tonight. The greatest trip as I walk down the by the river. I haven't been back to the baggage since that fateful day. Nani? Yuki's form is beauty just as always. It is. The baseball flies up and hits the net. I'll pass. Not really. And apparently you don't get tired of swinging either. Yeah. She swings. Somehow I feel like I I know what she's getting at. Of course, you can swing like that bad like she's been freed from all the war all the world's troubles. Hmm. Yeah. She wanted her gone, really. Wow. She was.
She turns back to me, to my face, to face me. The meditators are dead silent. Everything comes to a standstill. I raise the spot like she's got me by the heart. I get it. I understand why I make you weak. Envy a stubborn, uncompromising girl like a Yuri. And now that you always change her, I know that what she's going to say. She was terrified of hurting anyone and of getting hurt. Of getting hurt herself. And so she suppressed her feelings for all these years. Her hair flutters in the wind. Finally, the frozen space between us melts to life again, and we have to, and we have Yoi to thank for that. One of your club underlings, Haru Chan, was it? She asked me to kiss you. Two reasons. One, to help make make the play a success, and the two, because Yoi asked me. Yoi asked her to ask me. She disappeared. She said she ran into Yoi a few times since her disappearance. According to her, Yoi said she'd been praying for me and you to finally get together. Neither of us stays, says it, but we both know. Yoi chose to disappear in order to help our relationship blossom. She was afraid of getting in the way of our, of our romance. Miyuki, I quietly approach her. Normally she gets she gives off this to me vibe, but physically I'm bigger than her by a long shot. She looks up at me, eyes full of hope and worry. Whatever it was, Amy was trying to grant me by making herself scarce. Please let it be the courage to take this last step. Let me have the strength to face my feelings. It means I'll get hurt. It's time to finally confess everything I seriously felt all this time. I want to kiss you, Miyuki. Not for the play, not because I always to, but because I've always loved you. Yeah, they say life is a series of choices, but that's loads of crap. God's not there rolling the dice. What if it doesn't exist? Yesterday leads to today, and today leads to tomorrow. What, what lies ahead? I'm about to find out. Let me draw close. I slowly close my eyes. Hmm. And with this, our hearts are finally one. Yeah. Back to the rooftop. Yeah, we looked down at the old gymnasium from our vantage point up the roof. After that night, I joined the theater club. I had one goal. I knew it was selfish, but I simply couldn't tolerate the thought of some other guy kissing my girlfriend. Naturally, the director and playwright were completely against it. The play was already coming together nicely, and once that they nailed the kiss scene, it would be perfect. If they were to change it now, they wouldn't be able to polish it in time, they said. They probably didn't appreciate some random showing up out of nowhere and demanding such a massive overhaul. I didn't blame them, of course, but I refused to back down. I went to over them, and over and over and over again. I know I'm a jealous little bastard, pretty much. As I look at the sunset, I can hear the cheers of the crowd. I'm sorry. I know I've been always being selfish. But Yuki smiles at me without a hint of resentment. She was the one who ultimately settled the fate of the play. I told her she, wore, she went to them at them to resign from the role if they left the kiss scene intact. And now here she is, standing by my side. So she put much work to it. It was her chance to make it to make it into a picture of leaves. 
and now she's throwing it all away. The old me would have felt guilty as hell, but I'm different now. I see the sacrifice she's made, and I love her all the more of it. And now I'm going to make her happy for the rest of my of her life. That's the promise I've made to myself. Yeah. And had we look up at the washerly sky, the sun sinks beyond the skyline. We stand there wordlessly, our heartless hearts beat as one pulsing with the flow of time. The sun burns crystal as it takes its slow descent. There it goes. The city. And finally night falls. One by one the town's lights flicker to life. As if in response, the stars come out overhead. This is my first time being on a rooftop at night. Together we all lose ourselves in the bright, breathy view. How much time has passed now? Now I can finally skip. Good. And then, the final part, we nod. And after that, I skip again. Yeah, so this is actually what I got so far right now. Not again. I recognize the paper. Letter of expulsion? I thought it was already expelled earlier though. Still, I know we flew full well how he feels about Miyuki. I had to a man up and explain myself. Alright, Yutaro. All that stuff. He just like slammed the whole thing. <laughs> He's hilarious. I mean, Yutaro's actually funny though. And then, yeah. That's pretty much everything in this game. Now. Alright, here's a new part. Again? Alright, what's supposed to do to me? Now I can skip. Again. Fate? I suppose it is. Oh crap. And that is the end. Great. Yeah, I've already got the credits in the previous, in episode 12. So yeah. So this is the end of the video for today guys, so thank you everyone for watching the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.